If you listen to a lot of my favorite producers, was Mantronics. Okay. You know, he's from here. And if you listen to a lot of my caters and my triples and all of that, uh. shit, I got that shit from Mantronics. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But Mantronics was underrated. You know, he he to me he sounded like a southern producer from New York. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? And it was just like because he was doing with 808s that New York yeah. wasn't ready to hear. Uh -huh. Like you know he was the first dude that tuned the 808, and made it make notes. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? And that doesn't you know like New York is just like nah this is the the hip hop mecca. Like we want boom bap. You know, and some of his, it had 808 snares that, that was tuned way up. He had triplet hi hats in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, I don't know who this dude is, but he was big down south. Go do your research. New tune I have on 10 records, distributed by Virgin Records. And right about now, the wheels are still the king of the beats. His name is Mantronic. <laughs> and the name of the tune is called Breaking Bells. Bust the rap. Uh. A fresh rhyme in the brain is what I contain. Let it out with a shout and a sound the stain. A part in your heart right before I start. Try your best with the rest to figure what I've got. What I invent, I intend to intimidate you. It will be a slam dunk on your set virtue. I make your head curl, head swirl, put you in shock. I possess an element to start you on my job. When I finish, I'll diminish, then I'll laugh in your face and try to build up your ego, put it in the right place. On a scale of intelligence, I'll score a 10. It will be a revelation from beginning to end. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care and if you like the sound wind flowing down London say oh yeah no matter what the job I'm at, I'll always do it well. My skill not perpetual, I'll only excel. To a point where I remain, I'll handle any type, no matter big or small. And for my rapping capability, I'm never underrated when it comes to spoken lyrics. I'm always nominated as the number one contender in the hip hop race. All competitors, I'm sorry for, but now you must face the ultimate challenger. Of course, that's me, super rapper Tila Ross, undisputed MC. With my voice so stimulating, feet so seductive. One can't help but find I'm so reluctant to attend the performance of another vocalist. And so you will find I'll never rap like this. Mantronic. Huh. All the ladies in the house, let me hear you say ow. Say ow. London, make some noise. Funky beat, I know it's kind of low, but just try to groove with it anyway. The name of the tune is called Breaking Bells, coming to you live from New York, T. La Rock, Mantronic. Come on, get up for all the ladies. Well, if you think you're a flower, yes, the ladies. Well, think you're qualified, well, all the ladies. Well, if you think you're down, then we can go cruising all around the town. In my bands, well, spit the signs of silver. I know lie, I can't deliver. Any kind of stuff that ain't the kind of growing. For love in my thing and the motor for the story. So if there's a girl that's fly and snappy, let me do your right, you will be happy, now I promise. Well, that's the way it will be. What else the name a whole ain't MCC? Well, I can take you through the night and make your best friends jealous. Like a man in and out, talk a best seller. Stop at the diner for something to eat. We'll check a movie of the week on 42nd Street. And then we go to a club, whatever you prefer. Mellow out the night and let our feelings stir. We'll just get out the night with the twinkle of a light. Bounce all around the club while I keep it in my sight. So we can go and make the plain and simple. The hard to find a Looking at your body that moves so well with the heat to the beat and time will tell. But we can carry on towards the intimate phase. I saw the cut of kiss cause I'm a passionate crazy guy. You see, I'm advertising tea. The mic back the door with the lowest PAC. Hit the tooth, yeah, move, yeah. Promise to improve, yeah. Love life guaranteed to groove, yeah. We're all night to the one day life to come on. You're pretty baby looking out of sight for all year. Yo, what up, 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 what up,
Yo, yo, I got a little debate here. You know, our next album, we're thinking about calling it Musical Madness. If y'all like that name, let me hear a little noise. I thought so. I thought so. In the UK, my people, one of the powerful hip hop in the UK, yeah, they, and it's the great man, you yeah, know, putting it all together for you, showing you Mantronic's name, Curtis Mantronic's, a brother who was born in Jamaica, went to Canada, then went to New York. And a pioneer trailblazer in the hip hop realm. And when they're talking about Lord Jama, Tarit Nasheed, saying that this, we are the four founders of hip hop and no one else really must get mentioned in the same breath as, uh, you know, Bombata, you know, uh, all the, just in the same breath as all the rest, you know. And I said, I'm going to keep on blowing this trumpet now and saluting because I'm part of that fabric. Curtis Mantronic is he, a, a person who I have a, a 40 year relationship with. Um, uh, the journey of him and the dancer, and how we got Mark to be in his video and all kind of shit. Um, you know, when you're talking, okay, about to, about hip hop and all the people that came to the UK, this is 1986. You see graffiti, breakdancing, popping. It was up and running in the UK, founded by the great man talking to you here. The whole movement. Hmm? Um. It was, uh, if I was away and I wasn't present in certain places because I was incarcerated at the time and I planted the seed and because I was on the street doing madness because you need finance to, 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 to do all this shit, you see. And I was the one on the street f financing this shit so it could get legit, so we could get in that legit shit, you dig? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm meeting all the movers and shakers, you know, I'm meeting um, Mantronics, I'm meeting, um, oh, for fuck's sake, the name, Houdini, the names that never get mentioned, my people. I said, this is like this is the early stages of hip hop, mm -hmm. early stages now, and this is why. When certain things happen, hmm? the great man always has knowledge and ears to the ground of what's the truth and what's fiction. Hmm? And when you hear of Curtis Mantronics, as I said, this is a man who was mother's from Jamaica and his father from Sudan. And my key version, Mark Malcolms, have got a very similar mix. The guy in the dancing in the video, I show, uh, has got a similar, very similar mix. This is why we all connected with each other. Now, you see, so you got Grenada, Jamaica. I'm Grenada, representing Grenada. Mark is representing Jamaica. Mantronics representing Jamaica and Sudan. You see. And Sudan, you know, don't forget Jamaica and Sudan. This is why Mantronics lives in South Africa today. Still pioneering music shit. You know, uh, he's only 58 years old, you know, still got a lot to offer in this thing that he is a for, a four founding father and producer. This is why you have all the greats who salute this brother. And I, again, I have the privilege to meet these great people. These pioneers, trailblazers in the game at the start of their career. And they, he knew the importance of including, being inclusive. He went around the world and dealing with people like me. 
to in be hip hop inclusive and global and put us in these videos or put us in anything he was touching. That's a great man right there because he loved the UK because it, it reminded him of Canada. It reminded him a bit of America, New York, Flatbush, certain parts. Because I took these people everywhere. Remember, I'm from North West, you know. Right. So these people was coming to Arsden, going to Stonebridge, going to all the grimy, grimy places. And nobody knew who he was. Because when Mantronics was over here, he wasn't blown up yet. He was doing the groundwork. Okay, he was. It took about a year before that video come out with feathers in it. You know, that video was shot in in, in, in eighty eight eighty eight, came out in eighty five eighty four. That video was shot. You see me? I said that man. It was over for at least a year and a half. You know, doing because he loved the UK. Uh, he bought property in the UK. You dig? Which I used to look after when these people wasn't the other stem. This is how I used to pick up like, collect rent money and for a lot of these big people, you know. But property very close to where I was in South Kensington, in Queensgate, you dig? This is only this this is what I'm trying to say to you, my people. When you need the four founders. <coughs> so when you are talking, my version brought Jay Z over in the studio in Wilsden. Okay, that iconic photo is that's how my version's yard I said. Shit. Um, you have to, because that's where we all grew, and Northwest is the the the, the hub. Because I was hip hop, you see, I came from that whole sound thing, you know, it straight into, into straight boom, made that transition from this. I said, no, hip hop is my thing, man. Hip hop's my thing because I come from the back of the funk, so it was just an easy transition. Mm -hmm. We had soul sounds, you understand? Rear groove sound we had running this shit. So we know what we are going with, my people. Come on. This is a great man. You know, dropping information as, as, as no one else can. You dig? And I'm saluting the great Curtis Mantronic right here. And uh, he's rapper, the MCT there. Went in, went in the Navy. Went in the, in, in, the, in the Navy. Like a way a lot of uh, Americans have, did do. The rap game wasn't for them. They said, boom, you near me. Remember that brother called a group called Snap um, Turbo, another one who came to England. He he went back in the navy, or he was from the navy originally. You see, he man had big air, 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 air jet, jet pilots and shit, man. And all these motherfuckers, man, because I'm the great man. You dig? And he got delivered like the only the man who can. You dig? And you salute. The people like Mantronics who paved the goddamn way, my people, and showing you how hip hop came in the UK and the legacy what we we ha have, you know, it's thanks to great people like myself, you know, mm -hmm. and you're getting second, third information, as I said, like from Westwood and all these people who reckon that they are the four founders of this shit, Westwood was not there, okay, Westwood can talk shit, Westwood was not in Convent Garden, Westwood was in some club or in radio and shit, he wasn't on the ground uh, level, like the great man, he wasn't the first five people in Convent Garden when hip hop was born, I was, uh, right, so you need to subscribe, uh, to prescribe, uh, and adults of the highest order. Thank you very much.